Greetings everyone, back with another week of training. So that of course means we're starting off with max lower, but first we need to get good and warmed up. So I am doing um, something similar to a Matt Wennings warm up, where he does about like four sets of 25 of different exercises. Um, so I'm doing about 20, 20 reps of some leg curls, 20 reps, reps of some leg extensions, and then I have a something called the bob, but basically I'm, I'm doing kind of like a calf raise um, slash ankle, ankle rotation to get my ankle nice and loosened up as well. So I do these for several rounds, and I'm not trying to get myself tired, I'm just trying to get myself ready to go. Max effort exercise for today is going to be a hinge movement, also known as a good morning. I'm going to use the Kabuki Strength uh, Transformer Bar. As you can see, they have multiple different settings, and they have one for hinge. Uh, the reason I'm using the Kabuki Strength uh, Transformer Bar here is I find with the good mornings with the straight bar, the bar kind of rolls off my back. And the way that they design this is it's supposed to help teach you to actually hinge at the hips. If you try to squat down or anything like that, it's going to feel incredibly weird and awkward. So it's a bar that is trying to just teach you how to shoot your hips back first and then kind of load your posterior chain, aka like your hamstrings and your glutes or your butt. That was another warm up set, so as you can see, I'm trying to work my way up uh, to a heavy weight. I'm not making big jumps, I'm not really super strong on this exercise, so I'm taking more, taking smaller jumps so I can get in some more volume. Uh, the, now the program later on will call for a max single of these. Um, a lot of people that do conjugate actually suggest you don't do the singles. They 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 do uh, they do three reps. Thirty five pounds, and now we just added forty five pounds. So now we have one thirty five on the bar, and I'll do another set of three. It was a little bit of a larger jump, but after this jump, I'm definitely going to go back to much smaller jumps because I'm getting closer to my max for today. Once again, it's the maxes for the actual day of like how I'm feeling. Like I've already worked, I've had had my lunch and everything. I've been sitting for eight hours, um, so it all depends on how I feel. If I feel amazing, if these sets feel amazing, I'll just keep going for a little bit. Otherwise, I'm going to cut it off early. That is going to be my top set for today. Uh, I still have my accessories to do. The remaining deadlifts can be tiring on your lower back, or at least they're, they can be tiring on mine sometimes. The first rep on this last one didn't feel the best. The other two felt actually pretty good, but I'm gonna call it safe, and I'm gonna move on to my accessories. <sighs> Today is going to be our max upper, and right now I'm just getting warmed up uh, for doing that. So I'm doing a lat pull down, or a straight arm <laughs> lat pull down. I'm doing some tricep push downs and then some light laterals. I'm doing, I'll do about three cycles, maybe four, 20 reps. Um, if this looks familiar, like I saw. This on Matt Wenning. Matt Wenning was, is this is kind of his warm up style. And so I'm, I'm trying it out. I like it because I get a little extra volume. So the weights I'm picking, like I'm not supposed to be extremely tired after this. Like this isn't necessarily supposed to really affect the rest of my workout other than getting me warmed up and ready to go. So now we're going to start going up to our max for today. And the exercise is gonna be uh, kind of like a pin press or a rack press. 
So I have the safety set up a little high and then I'll just come down to the safety, rest the bar on the safety and come back up. You can use a regular barbell for this, but I have an Elite FTS cambered bar. So I'm gonna be using this. Another 10 pounds. Uh, the fun thing about this bar is that it's only uh, 35 pounds. It's not like a regular 45 pound bar. So it messes with uh, your math. Well, I worked my way up to a heavy for me single, uh, but it turns out like I was actually supposed to be doing triples this week because it is, we're supposed to be easing into the program. Um, so I'm going to cut it there. Now that we finished our main movement, we're moving on to our accessories. Accessories are the same as last week, some pull-ups and then some triceps, tricep extensions. We're back. Today's dynamic lower. Uh, this waves up and down, so this is a different weight than I used last week. I'm doing bands, like I said, you don't have to do bands. Um, I'm just gonna let this roll and so you can get a feel of kind of how quickly I go through these. my dynamic lower for today. Next up would be accessories. The accessories are same as the max effort day. So I'm not gonna show you those all over again. They're, they're not really gonna change. The weights might change just depending on how I'm, I'm feeling. You know, if you're feeling, feeling good, go ahead and add a little more weight. Feeling beat up, go ahead and you know, maybe lighten it up. But we'll catch you again tomorrow for my dynamic upper day. Now, it's the last day of the week. It's the fourth day, so it's dynamic upper. So what we got here is a bench press for our speed work. I have it hooked up with some bands. You don't need the bands, especially if it's the first tough couple times going through. My bench is really weak, so this is really low weight. We're gonna do three reps. Uh, for nine sets. the dynamic upper for today with our bench hopefully you caught that we did like a closer grip a little bit and more competition and then a wide grip basically you just kind of do three sets of three reps close grip medium and then a wide the accessories for today are going to be the same 
as earlier in the week and previous weeks. So we're not going to show you those. And other than that, we gave you an idea of kind of what I do for warm-ups. Like I said, I got those from Matt Winning. You don't have to do those. You can do some other type of warm-up. You just want to start feeling good before your workout. Thank you very much for watching. We'll post something else for next week so you can follow along on this workout. Thank you.